So tonight, just a little bit of a personal introduction. I first met Matt Monarch, it was either in 2000 or in 2001. We met online through a friend before we'd met in person and it was, he was just getting into raw food. He had the little frat boy short haircut, remember? <laughs> we met at a Portland Raw Festival and I remember, we all actually remember watching, watching him run around behind everybody asking questions and at one point it was either Fred Vichy or it was Paul Nissan and they were like, watch this kid, he's gonna turn into something. So here it is eight or nine years later and he's authored two really, probably more than that, but the two I have amazing books, Raw Spirit and Raw Success. Love Raw Success. Um, and then Miss Angela Stokes, now Monarch, who has the amazing story of having lost 160 pounds on a raw food diet, featured on CNN. Yeah, that's a woo. Yeah, featured on CNN. Written six, seven books, ebooks, downloads. Some of them are here, Raw Emotions. And somewhere along their journeys, they crossed paths and recently became like the raw power couple, I would say. So they're going to be talking tonight about raw emotions and raw success and just give a really big, warm welcome to Matt and Angela. All right, um, thanks for coming out everybody. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna speak for the first 45 minutes and then we're gonna have Angela speak for a half hour and then that'll be it. Is that good? Okay. So how many people in the room here have healed from a condition or ailment or degenerative disease by improving their lifestyle? Check it out. That's crazy, right? Straight diet did that. And how many, how many people in this room are 100% raw? 100% totally. Okay, this is crazy, right? Because there are more people healed than there are people that raw, are raw. So this is a good point to make. You don't need to be 100% raw to heal from degenerative diseases. You don't need to be 100% raw to be healthy. And today what I'm gonna teach you is how to heal or just be healthy either adhering to a 100% raw food diet or an intermediate healthy whole food cooked food diet. And I'm hoping not only will the information inspire you today, but it will also empower you to take your health to the next level. So besides being able to practically heal from every ailment on the planet, why else is the raw food diet so great? I mean, if you read all the books, they say, you know, they are, they're alive, they have enzymes, and all these wonderful things. And these are great things. But the number one benefit of the 100% raw food diet that blows every other benefit out of the water is when you adhere to a 100% raw food diet, you're eliminating the foods that actually damage the body. It's actually more important what you don't eat than what you actually eat. I mean, you could seriously eat all the raw foods and superfoods and so you're blue in the face. You're not gonna get better unless you eliminate the cause, which are certain processed foods that we're gonna go over today. And if you wanna be on our email list, I'm gonna pass this around and there's postcards about our TV show and our store and all that other fun stuff. So anybody can nourish themselves. I mean, they could seriously go to McDonald's three times a day and drink green smoothies and vegetable juices and get all the nourishment they need, but why aren't these people succeeding? It's because they're eating these processed foods that really damage them. And so it's all about what foods are obstructive to the body, what foods are damaging to the body. And tonight, I'm gonna go between advanced stuff and beginner stuff and advanced stuff and beginner stuff, and I'm gonna throw an advanced curveball at you guys right now. Okay, all food is obstructive to the body. In other words, all food is damaging to the body. Even raw food. I know this sounds crazy because if 99% of the population went on a raw food diet right now, they start becoming younger, they start healing from disease, and they start regenerating like crazy. But let me give you another example. Myself. 11 years ago, I didn't have any health challenges. I went on a 100% raw food diet overnight. I was, a pretty young, I was pretty young at the time and I couldn't believe what was happening to me. I started becoming younger. I was regenerating at this rapid pace. It was unbelievable. But then after about year seven, I started to notice something. I caught up with all I was doing. I detoxed so much of this stuff out of me. I caught up with my new diet, and I began to realize I started to age on the raw food diet. 
I mean, everybody ages, it's inevitable, but what was aging me? And I know there's a lot of factors, but I felt the greatest factor was the food. So check this out. What becoming younger and regeneration occurs when you start to permanently improve your diet by eliminating more obstructive, damaging foods to the body. So when you improve your diet permanently and start eating less obstructive foods continually, you will start to become younger and regenerate. So what happens is after a certain amount of time, you kind of catch up with what you're doing and you get rid of all this waste out of your body. And this process can be any, depending on who you are, it can be up from like, you know, three years to 25 years. And then you start to age at a slower process. So myself, for example, I eat a raw food diet, 100% raw foods. If I were to cut my meals in half right now, I would start regenerating and becoming younger and becoming younger, and then I would catch up with what I was doing, and I would start to age at a slower pace. That's just some advanced stuff for you guys, but we're gonna go back to the other stuff. Okay, so it's all about what foods are least obstructive to the body, what foods are least damaging to the body. And the answer is, raw food. I mean, if you think about it, an apple is pretty much just water with vitamins and minerals in it. It doesn't tax the digestive system, it just practically goes right through you. And so it's the least obstructive to the body. So other examples is like a raw food diet is less obstructive than the standard American diet. An intermediate healthy whole food cooked food diet is less obstructive than the standard American diet. A raw food diet is less obstructive than both of those. Eating one pound of figs, is less obstructive than eating six pounds of figs. Having a simple salad is less obstructive than going to a raw food restaurant, having a couple appetizers, a few entrees, a couple desserts. I've done that a few times. Yeah. Okay, so again, you don't need to be 100% raw to be healthy, but there are certain foods you want to eliminate from your diet completely without exception for ultimate health. I mean, there are a lot of diets out there today, and I'm sure you've heard of many of them, such as the zone diet, the macrobiotic diet, the South Beach diet, the blood type diet, the yeah, that diet. And all the creators of these diets, they claim to get results. And to be honest with you, I've actually seen people get results. I've seen people lose weight and heal from disease. And there's one common denominator on why all these diets succeed. And that common denominator is they all leave certain foods out of their diets completely without exception. And the crazy thing about it all is they all eliminate the same exact foods. It's crazy. It's not rocket science here. I mean, they each have different rules, like you can't eat past this time of the day, or you can't have this type of vegetable, or you can't eat this for that type of blood type. But they're all the same. What foods are these that we want to eliminate from our diets completely without exception for ultimate health? So, if you're gonna write anything down, this is probably what you'd want to do. I like to break down the foods into the following food groups. We've got animal protein, refined sugar, dairy, processed starches, and raw food. Okay, so if we understand that what we leave out of our diet completely, without exception, is the way to ultimate health, we want to leave out the foods that are the most damaging to the body. And out of those five food groups, there are two that are tied for the top that are the most damaging. Now a lot of people think it's usually animal protein and dairy some of the time, and they go on a vegan diet and they start loading up on the stuff that's actually more damaging to them. From a moral standpoint, we want to get rid of that stuff. And I have an animal activist in me, and I know what that's all about. But from a scientific standpoint, the two most damaging foods are the refined sugars and processed starches. That's the big old secret. That's what every single one of these diets do. It's crazy. And let's just go over what these are so we all know what we're talking about here. Refined sugar is any type of processed sugar, which is real simple. Um, cookies, candies, cakes. Probably the easiest thing to give up. I mean, if you look at the Cafe Gratitude desserts over there, I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Processed starch is probably the most difficult to give up, most addicting, and the cravings are just, it's just crazy. And this is the most damaging food to the body. What is the processed starch? We've got, I mean, pasta, any baked items, and probably the most difficult thing to give up is the bread. Bread.